Greetings from Discovery Lab. Tulsa Public Schools and Discovery Lab have partnered to provide you and your students a rich learning experience in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. In the coming weeks, you will receive your scheduled date for your trip. Discovery Lab is here to make your experience as rewarding and trouble-free as possible. The world-class exhibits that delight and inspire thousands of visitors every year become the stage for a rich STEAM learning opportunity for students, teachers, and chaperones alike. The moment you step foot off the bus, learning begins. Your visit is our top concern, so we make sure everything's covered. From the lab experience, bus transportation, and lunch for you and your students, we'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about anything at your field trip to Discovery Lab. They will take care of everything. I was shocked at how easy this field trip was because we got an email, you're, you're going on a field trip on this day, and then buses arrived. There was no, we didn't have to schedule or pay for buses. The buses just showed up when they needed to. They picked us up, they dropped us off. Somebody greeted us when we got off the bus and directed us to our next spot. We were directed for lunch. They even had a separate lunch for teachers if they wanted um, something a little more than an, an uncrustable. It was very smooth. They had places for students to keep their jackets or to keep their lunches that they brought themselves. Um, everything was so smooth and it's hard for teachers because we want to have control of the situation. So it was very difficult at first, but when it, once it was so smooth, I was so thankful it was so smooth. Students are going to say it's awesome. It's important that it's also an opportunity for them to learn more and have that STEAM experience. So when the chaperones are with the students, they need to be helping the students asking questions. Why do you think it does that? Or why does this move like that? There's lots of different ways for students to explore in the Discovery Lab. and. It's easy for a student to just say, this is so cool and want to play, but a chaperone's an important part to reel it back and say, this is still an educational opportunity. I would tell a teacher about the classroom lab experience, be prepared to participate. There is a teacher there guiding the lesson and they're, they're great teachers. Our lesson was great, but you get to also participate and help. I think it's good to know what exhibits are present at the Discovery Lab so that you can bring attention to certain aspects of that lesson. And then when you come to the Discovery Lab, you can say, remember in that lesson we talked about um, sound and there's a sound exhibit so students can relate back to what they've learned. It's also important to know where you're going in your science curriculum so that way you can ask questions that might be specific to what they're learning in the future and then at that time you can relate back. Oh remember when we went to Discovery Lab and learned about this or saw this and students have that opportunity to um, relate back to a real experience they had. One way I prepared my students for our day at the Discovery Lab STEAM Center was by letting them know that they would get to explore hands-on and that they would be pretty much free to explore, ask questions, and that this was a place built for them to learn and explore and learn so much. I don't think I had a single student who wasn't engaged and wasn't asking questions throughout the, the field trip. I will prepare my students this year by ensuring that they know how to ask good questions, how to observe what they're exploring. Um, I will also prepare my students with guiding questions so that way when we do come and they ask me questions, I can probe them to ask even more questions. I want my students to ask questions and the Discovery Lab is a great place for them to ask questions. If you want as many chaperones, as possible so that it can be the easiest day for you as a teacher. A helpful chaperone on this field trip is a chaperone who can communicate when something might be going wrong. They're also able to keep track of the students and, and encourage those students to ask questions and explore. I think it's important for chaperones to not just sit and let the students play. They're also there to help guide the students through the activities and the different um, stations at the Discovery Lab so they can um, help students think more about what they're looking at instead of the students just there to, to play. When we got on the bus to go back to school, I felt like that was such a good field trip and I felt like it was one of the best field trips that we ever had because my students were so excited. They wanted to talk about everything that they did. So you know it's a good field trip when they're talking about it on the bus ride home. 
Take it from Mary. You can rest assured we'll inspire you and your students while discovering the world at the lab. <laughs>